So guys, it's time for me to leave Kiev and there are a couple of reasons why we are going out and uh, we are bringing a lot of bags with us. Now we are going to the parking and by the way, our um, kind of like chat of our house, uh, they notify us that in case of any kind of invasion, bombing, if anything will happen, that parking, so this underground parking will be open for people and you can come and hide here. So it's exactly under our building and it's pretty big size. So I guess it can really fit all the people. For example, for such uh, amount of people, and you can notice that it is not small amount of apartments are there. So this is another place exactly next to apartments and everybody can run. It's a huge area underground there 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 it's actually parking but it is uh, making the function of bomb shelter as well beside it you can find such kind of signs which is exactly talking about bomb shelter so you will know where to run our government were saying even that if there will be real attack to the kiev they will evacuate all the city and city will be empty there will be only military and workers of the critical infrastructure to be honest i really cannot imagine how you can evacuate 3 million of people and to where you can evacuate them because even if you will bring them to some other city they will not fit so this is too much people and i really not sure this can be really done first of all the school of my daughter where she was going it was american and they was having americans citizens as a teachers and all of them left for sure since last week and we have actually uh no school here and she's sitting at home and getting bored that is the reason number one why we are leaving check out other channels from me like Yesenia's reactions second reason i actually start thinking that if really something will happen to bring the stuff for kids and for for two adults this is too much in one time really so i decide to take some things to my second home which is in the west ukraine and keep them here now let me give you some news Many people start moving to Lviv. Lviv is a city with 1 million population on the west part of Ukraine. Countries are moving their embassies to Lviv. Many companies are moving their employees to Lviv, renting apartments for them. And actually real estate agents in Lviv now really have a lot of work. So actually, what is Lviv? Lviv is a city with 1 million population on the western part of Ukraine. And it's just the biggest city over there. The West Ukraine wasn't under influence of Russian Empire and it was also much shorter time in Soviet Union than other uh, part of the country. And you can notice that people were very fine to develop their national spirit, their tradition, culture and language. And that is why uh, this brainwashing during the uh, generations uh, affect a little bit less uh, people on the west ukraine and nowadays this part of the country considered super patriotic and for sure any kind of pro-russian ideas there is not supported and not understand it by uh, society and nowadays people are running to Lviv like I feel in some kind of like middle ages uh, people were uh, hiding in the church if there was some attack to the uh, city because they was believing that this is the most protected place and for sure any kind of bad guys they will not go and they will not attack them so it's somehow what is happening nowadays in Lviv because they know that locals they for sure will never submit to Russians they will never agree to be part of Russia and that's why Russians actually know that as well and they have a tale still nowadays that if you speak Russian in Lviv they will kill you they will actually not kill you but uh, if they want to believe uh, in that and do not invade it's fine but we are very civilized and we are very fine if anybody speak any language unlike some countries who can kill you actually because you are speaking Ukrainian language Many airlines stop flying to Ukraine, at least to Kiev and to Odessa, because this city potentially have risk to be invaded and for sure it's making uncomfortable many things. But let's hope that uh, all the things will finish good. Still, I don't really think that Russia can really go into the mass invasion because it requires so many things and so many resources. And I don't see that people are ready to submit. So let us see how the situation will happen. I will keep you updated please if you like video and you want to receive more news subscribe to this channel press like button and share in the comments what you hear in the news in your country